Hi there, thanks for joining me back in the garage. Today is probably gonna be the easiest fault you'll ever fix on your car. It's this little fella. It's called an AUC sensor, AUC sensor. It comes up with a fault code of um, A6CF. Almost every BMW you plug into will have this code on if it's an older car. Um, what it is, air quality sensor. It's related to the air conditioning system. It just looks like that. It's a tiny little one plug, clips in nice and easy. We'll fit it in a minute. I've had this fault on my car for oh a couple of years or more. It's been ages. Um, and inside, inside this sensor, there's a tiny little gauze. Um, it draws in air, tests the quality of it. If it's got any contaminants in it, or there's like dodgy smells, fumes from cars in front, um, if it picks it up, it will close the vent on your air conditioning to recirculate. So rather than drawing air in from outside and bring it into the car, it will put you onto recirculation to keep the air in the car nice and clean and fresh. That's what that does. Um, obviously, over time, the little filter blocks up. I have seen a few people chopping these apart and trying to clean them, but to be honest, it never lasts. It just, uh, it, yeah, you're wasting your time. They're not cheap. £71. I put a link in the description for it. Not the cheapest sensor, but finally, I'm going to put this on and get rid of the code. So let's go and fit it to the car and um, make the air conditioning work properly again. Right, first thing we'll do is just get into the car and we'll pop the bonnet. And look how easy this is to get at. It sits right on the top here. So this is this little sensor that we're on about. Um, it's got one little tab at the back and then you twist it and pull it out. So we can twist it and pop it out to start with and then you can actually see the, the push the tab and pull the connector plug off the back like that. There it is. This one, as you can see there, if I get it in focus, is branded Paragon. Uh, it is a genuine BMW one. It's got all the badges on the back of it and everything. So you can see they look identical in every respect. So a nice branded part. We'll put the connector plug back on first. Just click it in, pop that back in and twist it round. And then this has just got little tabs on it. They just lock back in like that. And there we go. New sensor all fitted. So the sensor's all changed. We do need to use a scanner or a code reader now to get rid of the code. So let's pop the OBD cover off there. We'll get the little dongle on this one. It's lovely, magnetic to the back. Plug that in there. Okay, so we've got the brake vacuum signal. We've got a few other injector stuff. The one we're interested in though is down here. There we go, A6CF. And if we go back, we can now clear that. And with a bit of luck, we should be able to get rid of it. It's gone. <laughs> yes, finally, we've got rid of the code that's been there for all those years. <laughs> So the new sense is fitted, happy days. These are all historical ones. The brake vacuum sensor, that is another one on the list. I have changed that at some point. Uh, it was okay for a bit, but it was a cheap sensor. It was a non-genuine one. And uh, now I've got a branded sensor. So we're gonna pop that in there and it should sort that problem. So that's another one we're gonna be doing shortly. So yeah, watch this space. Okay, now back in here, we can clear the DTCs and see if there's anything that's actually working or if there's something that's relevant at the minute. And we'll do another check. And the only thing that is relevant now is that vacuum sensor, um, which we can change. So other than that, that's not a bad result. Orc sensor changed. Everything's working again. So when we get those smelly, the smelly fumes from a vehicle in front, or if there's contaminants in the air, it'll pick that up and it will put the recirculation on the heater automatically um yeah and it gets rid of that fault code so that's one that we've sorted so i've got the little sensor there and we're going to chop the end off it and see if we can uh, get to the gauze to clean it
than that. You can actually see now the circuit board inside there. Got the taking that off and in there you've got the gauze. So it's not easy to get that out if you wanted to clean. If there is something you can actually physically clean on it, I don't know if there is. Let's have a you see now that's stuck to there. It's like a membrane. You see, and to me, that doesn't even look dirty. It doesn't look like you could have cleaned this one. I think it, it's not even dirty. So this just must literally be a faulty sensor. There's no, there's no dirt or debris in there. So I don't see how we could have cleaned this. It is literally just a damaged sensor. I mean, looking inside there. Yeah, looking at that, that's actually... Uh, maybe I've have I cut through... Yeah, I think I've cut through a tiny wire there as I've, I've opened that up. Which has made the middle bit tumble possibly it's very delicate just looks like a very tiny sensor within a float in there in a through a hole in the circuit board how it works i don't really know but we do know this one is defunct, it's busted. It wasn't blocked with anything that looks pretty clean. So Duff sensor. And there's the part number of the new sensor. I'll pop links in the description for the Orc sensor. Um, all from Amazon, £71. You probably get a bit of discount there. If you can find a discount code, I'll pop it in the description below. Um, I'd love to see your comments. Drop me some comments in. Uh, if you've enjoyed this one, if it's been a use, then uh, please drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna 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 be a good